Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to do some profit crafting. The league has been going on for over a month now and a lot of people are going and transitioning into MF. I have been working on an MF character myself. It's a tornado shot Deadeye with around 77 quantity and I'll probably be farming Crimson Temple for some time. Since there are so many magic finding characters, uh, I've taken the opportunity to craft some gold flask for profit and today I'm gonna show you how. First of all, if you don't have the craft of the rarity during flask effect, you will need to get a cinder swallow flask that is veiled and unveil the mod yourself. I believe currently the market price for a veiled cinder swallow is around 70 chaos. So that would be the initial investment required. But I would suggest no farming the cinder swallow yourself. It drops from Katarina and is very common. As you can see in the background, all you have to do is unveil the mod that it says increase rarity of items found during effect and then you can craft it on any flask. Now that we have the craft, we can get started. First, we're going to need some eye level 84 plus gold flasks. They cost around 1 to 3 chaos each. First, we're going to quality the flasks using the glass blowers while they are white. This way we only use 4 glass blowers each. Then we're going to use an orb of transmutation on the flask to make it magic. And then we can spam the alteration orbs on it for the mods we want. The mods we're looking for is increased effect. It takes around 20 to 40 alterations. For each of the flasks I crafted, I noted how many alts that I used and I have put them in the Excel spreadsheet. You can find the link in the description. After getting the increased effect, all we need to do is go to the crafting bench, craft the increased rarity of items found during effect. I used to go for over 28% increased rarity, but after looking at the market for over two weeks, I found that the max roll of 30% increased rarity sells much faster and the profit margin is very similar. So I would suggest rolling until you hit the 30% rarity. It takes an average 10 tries until you hit it. In the background, I will put a full clip of me crafting the flasks. I think it's uh, informative for the beginners out there. In addition, I have used some other technique in the crafting process. Sometimes I would use an orb of annulment to make the craft faster. As you can see in the background, it's a 50-50 whether you hit the annul or not. Since the orb of annulment are 5 to 6 C each, I only use them when I see a good roll on the reduced duration. Some of the players are looking for a perfect flask and with a low reduced duration, you can sell the flask at a better price. Other than that, I think the craft is pretty straightforward and very beginner friendly. You can find all the information you need in the Excel spreadsheet uh, I have in the link below. I will let the clip roll for those who are interested in the crafting process and for those who don't, you can skip ahead for the results. When I'm ready and not
Okay, here we go. Here are the results. I have compiled a list of 19 examples of the flasks I sold. Uh, I have included screenshots of all of the flasks and when I completed the trade. As you can see, I've sold a lot of them. This is because a lot of people are transitioning into MF and are looking for a flask like this. Uh, some of the returns are good and some of the returns are excellent. Of course, it will depend on how many crafting materials you used. And there's always an element of RNG in profit crafting. I think overall, this is a good method for beginners to try out profit crafting, to dip their toes. As you can see in the background, from all the 19 examples that I've gathered data on, uh, an average return of 282%. What this means is that from every chaos I spent on crafting the gold flask, I get around 2.8 chaos back. For every trade I do, basically I double my money. However, I think everyone should understand that profit crafting is not about the divines per hour, but rather as a side income. This is why it doesn't make any sense to do a divine per hour metric on the spreadsheet. It rather provides you with passive income as you map and every now and then you make a trade and make some money. In addition, instead of letting currency sit in your stash, you can use profit crafting to let the currency make more currency. However, disclaimer, you should always check the margin in the market before attempting any profit crafting since the price varies a lot and if this video blows up there might be more competition hopefully i have explained everything in this video and give you an understanding of profit crafting and a basic method of making some currency if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know and other than that please leave a like subscribe and i will make more videos like this in the future oh and i almost forgot I have reached almost 150 subscribers and I want to thank every one of you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much and see you next time.